Hi everyone, it's Kathy here from Del Bellows Designs and today I'm going to be decorating some tins. Now, these two tins here I purchased in my local charity shop, I think you call it a thrift shop. And I, I use them to keep little tiny things in. This one has a few shells. And this one has a few sparkly flat back things for card making or whatever other crafts you do. Um, so I've decorated them. I've made little covers to put on the top to make them look quite pretty. And this one, I don't know if you remember, um, well, it's a year or so ago now, I made a tutorial with artist trading cards and we made a concertina um, thing to go inside the little tin. So I bought a few tins at the time. So this is a spare one that I had and I keep my buttons in it. So I've just literally decorated over the glass. It's got like a little glass lid, but I've decorated over the glass lid for this one. So for this tin, I don't think it has the sizes on here. No, it doesn't. Um, they, they were 50p each, like I say, in my charity shop. And what I did was I looked through my dies and I found a die that sort of more or less fitted it exactly around the edges. So I used that die to cut out two circles. If you don't have a circle die, you could always use, you know, the, the, the inside of the tin that you have to, to use to draw your own circle. I, I don't do that because my cutting is atrocious. I'm left handed, but I use right handed scissors. So my cutting is never perfect and neat. So I use the die for that. So that's for that tin. This tin, we got. I got a piece of card that was approximately two and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. And I just cut the edges round with a little um, corner cutter. So literally you just put your piece of card inside press down and you cut off the corner and you get a nice rounded edge so i've done that to go over the top of the tin to decorate it so for the stamps i've used the lav 264 pine cone lav 531 wallace family hedgehogs and i've got mummy and baby and i've also used the lav 482 whimsical hairs and i'm using the one on the left there that's looking up and the wild hairs lav 608 i'm using the one on the left so it's facing the harmony set lav 815 i've used the word nature the lav 442 red squirrel i've used that but i'm i'm happy to keep mine black because i actually live in the world's first garden city and it's the one of the few places in the uk that have black squirrels that uh, migrated from Canada, I think, but uh, we, we have lots of black squirrels in Letchworth, so I'm quite happy to keep it black because it's a bit local for me. The LAV126 Butterflies. So they're all the stamps. The inks I'm going to use, Elements Inks, Dark Denim and Olive. And it'll be mainly what I have on the brush, apart from the first one. The stamping I'm going to do, Versifying Clear Nocturne and Acorn. And I have some of the Lavinia Bippity Boppity glue to glue the, and, and I have a glue runner too that I'm going to use to glue the, the card down onto the tins. I also have a couple of stencil brushes in blue and green. And I have a couple of pencils. I've got a blue pencil and a green pencil to just ground the creatures when I've finished. Okay, that's everything I think. Let's get started. So we're going to start with the two hairs first, I think. I'm going to get one of my circles. I'm going to put some of the element inks on, but I'm going to dab quite a lot of it off because it's quite, quite a dark colour. And then I'm just going to go around in circles until I've covered it all. I think I've dabbed off a little bit too much. There we go. So I'm going to start stamping I'll do this one with this little fellow on the right right now I can see you can probably see there's a bit of glitter there oh it's come off that's good I was sort of thinking I might have to tap, patch that up but I didn't need to it came off by itself and then we're going to have this hair. This is 
and the um, the wild hairs. Oops, I've got a little bit on my thumb there. I'm just going to take that off before I touch the card. That's it. And then we're going to have this one standing next to him. And I'm going to use my blue pencil that I've got to just literally ground them. And there we go. Right. Nice, simple design. I'm going to use some of the Bibbity. Ooh, I had to cut my Bibbity Bobbity glue and it's a little bit fierce at coming out. So I'm going to get it to come out a little bit slower. Get that close to the edges. I've got it the right way up and then position in place just gently press down there we go and I'm going to leave that to dry while I start on the hedgehog family now these I'm just going to literally use what's on my brush for the, for the top part of the scene I just want it to be a lighter blue so instead of just changing I'll just use my excess and then I'm going to have a little bit of the olive but just a tiny bit again I don't want it to be too strong and that goes across the bottom there we go so let's do the mummy first straight money there give that a quick wipe and then the baby one off the bottom do it again gently fine line to get in those little feet and get in a line white pen just draw some little dots on the edge of the butterfly just to add a little bit of interest and then I'm going to use a green pencil to just ground them to put some more bibbity bobbity glue spreading it out and position Thank you. 
bit of glue seeping out. Let me just give it a quick wipe. So leave that over there to dry. And lastly, we're going to use the oblong card. And this one, we're going to I'm going to have a little bit more blue, take some off. And I might just use what's on my brush and see if that's enough. slightly off centre so that I've got room to put the pine cone next to her. And lastly, I'm going to do the word nature in Nocturne. There we go. Now for this one, because I'm doing it on a glass lid, I'm not going to use my glue, I'm going to use my glue runner. And I'm just going to try and go... halfway over the so I'm not getting a full width I'm just getting roughly half a width and bits of glue there like that and pluff Took that piece of paper now it's a bit um, sticky And the reason I didn't want to use the bibbity bobbity glue is that I didn't want it to seep through and show it when you open the lid of the tin. So when you open the lid and you can see just the plain white inside, I didn't want it to be mucky glue. So there we have it. Three quite simple designs. These ones aren't quite dry yet. They're drying still. But there's all sorts of things you can do with them. I did one with an owl and I did one with the little houses which is nice Christmas I'm putting like little Christmas trinkets in so there we have it simple decoration of tins thank you so much for watching and may I ask before I I go have you joined our Facebook groups we have two Facebook groups we have Del Bellows designs lounge for all products at Lavinia and we also have Del Bello's a la carte lounge and that's for all other products that Patty sells including cardio stamps sweet poppy stencils etc thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye bye